The Browns have finally broken their streak of losing every season opener at home since 2004 in their dominant 24-3 win against the Cincinnati Bengals. The weather was certainly a factor in this game and definitely affected what both quarterbacks were able to do. Deshaun Watson struggled with accuracy and was under throwing quite a few balls because of the rain. He did start to pick things up as the game went on and ended up with a 65.9 QBR, which was ninth in the league, compared to Joe Burrow's 20.4 QBR, which was 26th in the league. The biggest story of this game, hands down, was the Browns' defense. Every single unit showed up during this game and are the reason why the Bengals were only able to score one field goal and were forced to punt the ball 10 times. One of the more impressive plays in the game was Miles Garrett's fourth down sack of Joe Burrow that gave the Browns the ball back with 10:27 left in the game. He got past multiple defenders to get to Burrow and really reminded everyone that he is one of the most dominant players in this league. With this performance, one of the Browns' biggest questions of the offseason was answered, and that was whether or not these players would really thrive in Jim Schwartz's defense. They not only executed the defense well, but they were able to adapt in certain situations. Coach Stefanski even gave Jim Schwartz one of the game balls for the way that he had these guys prepared to play such a talented offense. The Bengals were held to just 143 yards and converted only two of their 15 third downs. The Browns secondary had phenomenal coverage against the Bengals pass catchers all game and really never let their passing attack heat up. Grant Delpit had one of the best games of his career and ended the day with one pass defended, one QB hit, and eight total tackles, which was the highest on the team. He got involved in the game in a variety of ways, whether it was providing pressure on the blitz or assisting in run support. He even had locked down one-on-one -on -one coverage against T. Higgins during a key third down play. The Browns defense is going to have to continue to build on this performance Monday night against the Pittsburgh Steelers and prove to everyone that they are a group to be reckoned with.